Hey guys, this is Jake here, and welcome back to my YouTube video. So, Apple has recently released the latest version of iOS 18. And the good news is, this version is 100% compatible with the latest Polara jailbreak. So today we will learn how to jailbreak iOS 18.6 and install cool tweaks, like installing a bridge tweak to enable opening and playing any app on your car like this, or getting a very cool theme for your iOS device that can easily beat the stock dark icons of iOS 18. So let me first show you the current iOS version installed on my iPhone. As you guys can see, it's the latest iOS 18.6 version. All right, we are good to go with the jailbreak process. Now open up Safari browser and visit this link, polarajb.com. I will add this website link in description, tagged comment, and over this video screen for you. So this is how the new Polara Web jailbreak tool looks like. Here you can see it has automatically detected the iOS version of my iPhone. So go ahead and click this jailbreak button. It will then start initiating the jailbreak process. All right, guys, the jailbreaking has begun. Just give it some time and do not close the app. There you go. The jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me option to install Saleo. Don't worry, Saleo has all the tweaks just like Cydia and it has more advanced UI too. There it is, Saleo is now downloading on my iPhone. All right, the Saleo app has been successfully installed. There you go, I now have a fully working Saleo app on my iOS 18.6 device. Here you see, I can access all the different screens within Saleo. On the featured screen, you will see all the top tweaks, although most of them are paid ones. But don't worry, there are tons of free tweaks too. Let me show you something cool that you can get for free. Here I am going to install this bridge app for car. It allows you to open any app on your Apple CarPlay. As you know, currently you have very limited access to apps on your car. But with this tweak, you can run any app you want. You can even watch YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. To install the tweak, click on this Get button and then go ahead and click on this Confirm button to start downloading the tweak. Just give it a moment to get the tweak downloaded. All right, guys, the tweak has been downloaded and now you need to respring your device once by clicking on this Respring button. All right, just give it a moment to complete the respring process. There it is, the respring process is completed. All right, guys, to toggle any of the apps installed on your mobile to be shown on your car, you need to go to Settings. Then scroll down until you find this bridge option. Here, choose this bridged application and enable this toggle for any app you want on your car. Now let's get into my car and see it working live. All right, guys, we're into my car now with my iPhone connected to it. And as you can see here, I have YouTube and Netflix here on my screen. This is really cool, guys. If you want, you can even mirror your device and play any apps or games directly from your mobile. Here, you can see my mobile is now being displayed. You can open any app on your mobile now and it will be displayed on your car's screen. You can even operate the app from your car's screen. This is really cool, guys. I really think you're going to enjoy it and you're going to be able to use all your favorite apps on your car's screen. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you one more cool tweet. I will install a theme called Bobo Dark. It is a dark design based icons handcrafted with iPhone style. I know you guys are already fed up with the same limited style of icons customization with iOS 18.6, but with this theme, you can get a completely new feel of dark icons. This theme includes 200 plus dark icons, which are also continuing to update by the developers for free. To install the theme, click on this get button and then go ahead and click on this confirm button to start the download. Just give it a moment to get it downloaded. All right, guys, the theme has been downloaded. Now you need to apply this theme to your device. To do this, go to settings, then scroll down and find this snowboard option. Here, click on this select theme menu item. And here you should see our downloaded Bobo Dark theme option. All you have to do now is just click on this enable button and then choose apply changes. Now just go back to home screen to see the magic. There it is. The theme has been applied successfully and it looks really cool, at least better than those sloppy iOS 18.6's dark icons. Anyway, if you want to go back to regular iOS style icons, just reopen the snowboard menu and then disable and unapply the changes. So guys, this is how you can easily jailbreak iOS 18.6 without any need of PC or computer. If you face any issue, just comment below and I will help you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel first. Thanks for watching.